Welcome to the XGS PIC 16-bit product presentation. My name is Joshua Hintz and in this video we are going to take a look at the exciting new XGS PIC 16-bit development kit for the PIC24 processor. Right now let's cover the development kit contents. Let's begin with what comes in the box. First the main PCB itself shown here, which we will describe shortly. Also, a microchip PIC kit 2 along with a USB cable is included that allows you to program and debug your software. An RCA audio video cable is included for viewing your video output. The XGS PIC supports the ability to write to a micro SD card, so we have included a micro SD card so that you do not need to worry about finding one. Also packaged in the box is a custom PC serial DB9 connector allowing for serial communications to a standard computer serial port or serial equipped device like a modem or a GPS unit. A DVD-ROM is included containing all schematics, software, tools, APIs, demos, and as an added bonus we have included a few electronic books covering video game console hardware design and game programming. The development kit comes with a custom XGS gamepad and supported API software for reading from it. Also, a 9 volt power supply capable of powering the XGS PIC is included. Finally, not shown here is a 325 plus page printed manual describing all hardware and software dealing with the XGS PIC and the PIC24 processor. The XGS PIC 16-bit printed circuit board has many features demonstrating the capabilities and the power of the PIC24 processor. This includes a VGA port for outputting video to a computer monitor. RCA audio and video connectors have been added for presenting multimedia on a television and speaker output. For programming purposes, there are ISP and JTAG programming ports that support flashing and debugging the PIC24 microcontroller. There is a PS2 connector added to the board allowing you to interface to a keyboard or mouse. One of the serial ports has been exported to a header for interfacing to a computer or other serial device. Also, dual game port DB9 connectors have been added to the front of the board for user interfacing. A 22-pin expansion port female header is built into the XGS PIC PCB featuring outputs from General Purpose I.O., I2C, SPI, Analog, PWM, 3.3 volt and 5 volt power, clock, and ground. Finally, a micro SD card slot header has been added allowing for large storage access to the PIC24 processor. Now we are going to load an example video demo that is included on the DVD contents of the XGS PIC 16-bit dev kit by using Microchip's free IDE called MPLAB. The first thing we need to do is load or create a project. In this case I already created a project. However, there are complete instructions on creating projects in the included printed manual that give step-by-step -step pictures for making your own project. In this project, we have a number of files that have already been added to the source files list. For example, there is the main C file, the gamepad driver, the graphics driver, and the video drivers themselves. In fact, we include many other drivers on the DVD such as the sound, the system, the graphics, the gamepad, the UART, the SD card, the mechatronics driver, like reading a temperature sensor, I2C and SPI drivers, and even a PS2 keyboard driver. Now this particular project has the NTSC version of the 1942 style demo with the code contents displayed in the code editor on the right. At the top of the file is a number of comments explaining the demo description, controls, and even the required files. For example, we include the XGS PIC system driver.cn.h file, 
the xgspick gamepad driver.cn.h file, the xgspick graphics driver.cn.h file, and also the video driver, which is composed of the xgspick ntsc tile1.s file or assembly file n.h. Now we can go ahead and compile the demo by going to the project menu and choosing build all. At the bottom of the window is the output that shows the compilation output, and if everything checks out, the build succeeded message is displayed at the bottom. The final step is to flash the program output into the XGS PIC via the PICKIT2 or a similar flash programming device. We do that by clicking the program button and observing the relative output. Notice that the PICKIT2 in this example erased the target's memory, it programmed it, and then it verified that the memory was written properly. The final thing is to release the device from reset and observe the video output on your NTSC television. Here we can see the video output of the 1942 demo that we loaded onto the XGS PIC dev kit. Notice that the airplane is controlled by the gamepad driver that we included in the source files list. The XGS PIC comes complete with its own BASIC-like programming language called XGS BASIC. Now BASIC is a great language to program in, and especially if you're a little squeamish around C syntax and compilers and all that such stuff. With BASIC, you can simply type in a simple textpad editor and use the constructs that are we've provided and the number of functions to do many different graphical things. For example, I have this simple life.bass demo loaded here in this textpad editor, and we're going to compile it using command line tools and download it to the XGS PIC using a serial port versus using a programmer. So you see your download times are going to be very fast and changes to the software is going to be extremely fast as well. So I have this life demo loaded and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to compile it using the XGS basic compiler life.bass and enter. Now we see that the code size was 831 bytes and also the SRAM took up 848 bytes but notice that it couldn't open COM4 which is a default COM port. So in my case I have it connected to COM1 so I'm going to use XGS basic dash P COM1 life.bass. And we can see it's downloading there, download complete, and we're already actually getting output messages that were embedded within the basic code. And if we go to the video output, we can see the simulation running on the screen. Now let's try loading a different demo. So I'm going to kill the compiler and also the serial communication link between the two. And I have this other Pong demo that I've written. And we're going to go ahead and download that by removing life.bass and putting in pong version 11.bass. Go ahead, compile, it's downloading, downloads complete. Go back to the video and we can see our little title screen of XGS Pong. And I can take the gamepad and press start and I can play a simple little pong game. Now let's say I wanted to change this pong game a little bit. Let's say I wanted to change the title screen text, so I can go up here to the title screen text, and it's just simple little text basic X and Y position. Let's say I want to change this XGS Pong to pick rules. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, go to my compiler, and just recompile and re-download. Go to the video, and we can see up here that clear enough pick rules is now displayed at the top. Now this just shows the speed and the power of the basic language that was developed for the XGS systems. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Here is a look at the back of the box. You can see some of the actual screenshots from the included demos. Thanks for watching this video. To find out more about the XGS PIC 16-bit, please visit the URLs shown here.